all last night, in the last 24 hours, I had some concerns. Um, I noticed some things that really stuck out, and I've been on leads before, and what I noticed about my vehicle, what I noticed about some of the incidents that have been occurring over this period of the last 24 hours, I had contacted the Zone 2 Police Department. Since that point, I had been at uh, Exit 12 here in Bridgeville, and what I'm concerned about is that when I come upon a lead or when I come upon these assaults, I notice it's the same pattern of, a, of types of people. And I notice it's the type of people that will invite you into their house. And then this assault begins like within the 24, 72 hour period. And one of the concerns I have about these assaults is they happen really early on. They don't really wait. And uh, my other concern is because of the types of assaults, these assaults have gone on approximately since, I mean, I can go back years every time these assaults occur. Again, the pattern is the assaults begin within the 24, 72-hour period. Uh, on the initial times I've inter been introduced or met someone, um, it's not as much as is it's stranger danger. It's just initially these assaults are uh, occurring on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and they're typically with women. And um, I've noticed this a pattern just over this period of my life, <coughs> <coughs> the pattern has been relationships with other women. It concerns me because women turn to these shelters and turn to these programs, and that's been the consistent problem for a lot of young women like myself, which initially I can go back to um, programs where women, and in some cases men, but most of the time it's women, where women turn to go into a shelter or going into a program and they have nowhere else to turn. I'm here at exit 12 here in Bridgeville. Uh, again, I just want to address some concerns. I notice again, when there's missing glasses and things, items missing or stolen property, this has been the uh, ongoing pattern. Um, we'll end up in a situation where we don't have anywhere to go. And, um, uh, so it's, it's a conflict for me. I'm concerned because most of us who have ever been in situations with other other people, it's, it, it, again, is on the initial time that when you meet them, pattern of behavior again, it's within the 24 to 72 hour period. And I have seen this going on for over, I don't know, maybe 40 years. Um, and, and I can prove it because I've show, I can show you a pattern of assaults that have occurred now, when we go to a women's shelter or a crisis center or anything like that, um, initially it's due to the crisis, but this has been the ongoing concern. I, again, addressed it with a Zone 2 police officer. Um, but what I do notice is when I'm on a lead, I hate to say it, but we're almost always right on these things. So I wanted to go ahead and report on this um, on ongoing concerns that are happening in shelter programs, uh, homeless uh, shelters, and also um, foster care agencies. Um, prior to that, going to the crisis center, I did stop at one of the shelter programs that I had gone to when I was a kid. Again, that was the same problem then, and it's the same problem even now. There's been a long history of assaults, long history of reports, even as a young child, which I wasn't able to reported, I wasn't aware of it, but I did again follow up on a report with the Pittsburgh Police in Zone 2. Um, and I want to show there's been a consistent problem with missing children and missing uh, persons as as a result of these assaults. I'm here again at the rest, rest area. I know full well that most of the time when kids are running away or upset, or in my case, the same, same one applies, that it, it's a constant trap of uh, being attacked, and I don't know if it's something here in Pennsylvania, because anytime we leave Pennsylvania, things seem to calm down, but there's, it's this whole region, it's, it's been, again, numerous assaults, hard to follow up on these, all of these reports, but again, it shows a consistent pattern, and I would like to make sure that report and follow up um, with those who need to follow up on this report. Thank you for listening.
as a follow-up on this report, why I wanted to state this report, because I've noticed this being a pattern of a, a behavior that's been going on and a pattern of concerns, and I noticed it's consistent with the missing items, stolen property and border issues, and trafficking issues. That's why here at the exit 12, I noticed that when there's a standing alert, be aware that the border issue is now effectively in place. Now, when I look at these concerns, I notice one of the most important parts is to address this one thing and one thing only. One of those patterns, of course, is like initially when I look at the exhaust and I look at the engine issues and I look at what's going on with the gas issues and the tax issues, all these combined, I can combine these attacks because I know it's consistent with what's going on in Iraq, what went on with Afghanistan, and it still goes on here. And that's why here at Exit 12, I know this is the front lines of the assault. And looking at the truckers and looking at oh, just an overall, overall view of what's been going on, it's consistent and it has been going on. And this is what the reports are going to look like. You're going to look at a pattern of assaults. You're going to look at missing children. You're going to look at runaways during these attacks. And it, call, it all comes down to this bully tactics. And I honestly don't know what else can I can say about these assaults. But this, again, shows me a pattern of soft targets at daycare centers, women's shelters, and programs. Again, the same report following my police reports and assaults. I, the only reason I state this is because I am, in fact, work and been around law enforcement and worked on detail and have worked on assaults. And again, it can follow with storms, weather, uh, you name it. So pay attention to these alerts as Homeland Security has implemented some alerts. You have a responsibility to report these Homeland Security reports. Go to your local Homeland Security office. Go to your local police departments. Notice that this has been the consistent concern. I wanted to state this. I did contact the Zone 2 Police Department where these assaults have occurred just within the 24-hour period. But again, it follows the same pattern. Happen at the daycare centers. Again, as I stated earlier, if you guys have children and family members, please know that these alerts and cautions, you can follow these alerts at your local news, in your local news, in your local region. Pay attention to the weather alerts and all the alerts up ahead. Thank you for listening to the film report here. And hopefully with the next reports coming up, we'll have some good news. It would like, be nice to get some good news for a change. Following up with this report, Again, follow up with the local weather and news. This is your Homeland Security Report. Thank you for listening to the field report. I also want to follow up with another report on topics you want to pay attention to. These topics, of course, concern the average American. For those of you who have confronted these issues or discussed it within your uh, circle of trust, please stay in groups. Uh, one of the things I notice is a pattern of concerns, especially with the school shootings, the increase of these assaults. Typically, when you're following up these stories, also look at the daycares and uh, homeless shelters. These are the soft targets. These are the issues. As a U.S. veteran, I know that one of the most important concerns we should be addressing right now is these reports because everyone who should, is following regular news it follows the same consistent concerns. They've increased over the last noticeably over the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, um, it would be foolish to argue that everything is going to be wonderful and hunky-dory. And believe me, I hope that that is the final report here. The good news is that there are anecdotal news stories that will help you and guide you through these times. And I would refer to the instruction manual itself. Uh, those of you who follow Mark's Prophecy News and news topics, please follow up. I would hope that all of you who follow these news stories, these are some of the topics and that have been online and they've been getting much of the buzz. And then, of course, trending news, prophetic news, and Mark, uh, Mark's prophecies, or the, fire, and the firefighters' prophecies. Follow those along with Sheila Zelensky's and the Hackman Report. Thank you for listening. Again, follow up with your local news and traffic reports coming up next. Mm -hmm.